All right guys, welcome back to the second channel. So over the past few months, we've gotten a lot of different vehicles. Actually, we have a whole freaking fleet at the household. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on the second channel to show you guys kind of what's going on with each car and how much we paid for them and the current state of how they all run and whatnot. I guess first is first, we got the Freedom Civic. So we paid 500 bucks for this thing. Literally the only thing we had to do to it was replace the crank position sensor. And that was like 40 bucks. So this car, cost us $540 and we've put probably a thousand miles on it with no issues. And uh, yeah, we took it to Cleveland Cars and we got all of the Boosted Boys and PFI signatures. So that's pretty awesome. Shout out to them. <laughs> the only thing is the other night I uh, forgot I left the windows down and it rained in here. And uh, that's why the door is open right now, I'm trying to dry it out. But I mean, oh, and that's kind of over spray sticking. Don't mind that. But um, yeah, interior is kind of crappy, but you've guys seen this car quite a bit. We have about two more videos planned with this car, maybe three. And then after that, the plan is to take the motor out of this and swap it into the buggy. And we'll get to the buggy here in a second. We've driven the hell out of this car. I mean, it's cheap on insurance, cheap on gas. And I mean, I think the only thing we broke on it really, besides the uh, crank position sensor, the CV axle. And that was kind of expensive, it was like $80, but we were also racing the heck out of this thing. So the buggy, you all haven't really seen it recently. That's because the motor is blown on it because we took it underwater and a bunch of mud got in the crankcase and it's no longer a functional buggy. Back in January, we paid, I think $4,250 for this and we've gotten a lot of use out of it. This thing is a blast off road. We wish it was a little bit higher off the ground because it kind of gets stuck in high center sometimes. But uh, yeah, it definitely could use some paint for sure. And for any of y'all that don't know, this thing was actually completely street legal, had insurance on it, it was tagged, inspected, the whole thing. And since it's technically an antique auto, the tags on it are good until 2023. So this thing is pretty cheap to drive, just like the Honda. So like I said, the Honda motor, we're gonna swap into here. And this thing came from the factory with about 60 to 70 horsepower. So basically 50 horsepower. And that thing, the Honda is like 120-ish. So we'll be doubling the horsepower in this thing, which is nuts. And besides that, guys, it just needs to be cleaned. This thing is an absolute beast to clean. Like, it's literally a bathtub for mud. It is awful to clean. And uh, besides that, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but the suspension on the passenger side is a little bit lower than the driver's side. I think either the shock needs to be replaced or adjusted probably just needs to be replaced, but that's kind of an issue. The goal is to have this thing completely fixed up in two months. We'll see if we can do it. All right, moving on here, uh, the trailer, that's pretty brief. We paid like 880 bucks for it. We got a steal on this trailer. It's treated us very well. I just had to go through and replace all four tires and paint it. Besides that, this thing has just been ready to go. And uh, it's awesome. We've gotten a lot of use out of this trailer. It's towed many of our broken cars home from off the side of the interstate. And it's treated us pretty good. So the Expedition, this is car number three at the novice household. Um, we paid $22.50 for this thing. And as most of y'all know, the first week we had it, we were dealing with really bad overheating issues. We did a whole video on the overheating problem and what it took to solve it. But basically, around town, it wouldn't overheat. But when you got on the highway, the temperatures would creep up and it would get pretty bad. Turns out it was the fan clutch because it has a mechanical fan on it. And we didn't find that out until we replaced the radiator, flushed the coolant out, replaced the thermostat. But at least now we know it's good. This basically replaced the 7.3, which I'll get to that in a second. That truck we no longer have. Um, and it's way more comfortable than the 7.3. It gets slightly worse gas mileage because the 7.3 is a diesel and this is a gasser. And, you know, the 7.3 while towing will get about 14 miles per gallon. This thing gets about 10. But like I said, it's way more comfortable. And this is the coolest thing ever. You can literally unlock the door from the keypad. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing special. Like I said, way nicer than the 7.3. So that's the Expedition. The good old tow rig. I think Buddy approves of it too. And this is my pride and joy. Now that I think about it, I haven't really posted much about this car. I just haven't gotten around to it. This is my official new car. It's a 2019 Corolla hatchback. I got it a week ago. It's literally brand new. It's the first brand new car, not brand new to me car, but it's the first brand new car I've ever had. Yeah, I've had this thing for literally a week and I've already put about 1300 miles on it. So that's why I'm trying to drive some of the shit boxes more than this thing, but really happy with it. And uh, yeah, this is the new daily. So it's pretty sick. 
got a good price on it. And uh, insurance is actually cheaper on this for full coverage than it is on my Expedition, so yeah. All right, on to the BMW. So we actually just picked this up three days ago and uh, the official video with it isn't out yet. So this is kind of like a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, this is a 1995 BMW 325i drop top and we actually bought it from a dealership for $725. So we almost didn't buy it because long story short, when we got to the dealership, it wouldn't start. And we thought it was a dead battery, but we had to wait for the owner to come. And it turns out there's some weird process. We have to take the key out, put it in the passenger door, turn it, and that unlocks anti-theft. But this car is honestly not bad. It, the motor and transmission are solid in it, 100%. But everything else is like kind of weird. It has a lot of small issues. Like the AC doesn't work, the top is broken. We actually spent an hour trying to figure out how to lower the top. We have a pretty awesome video coming up uh, tomorrow actually with the BMW and the Honda and they're both gonna get kind of dented and whatnot. Y'all will see that on Monday's upload. But um, it's got the inline six in it and we've already put 300 miles on this thing within three days so as you guys can tell we drive a lot for the channel yeah this thing's pretty sick especially for a 700 dollars running a driving bmw i mean it's not bad at all so the only thing is the interior has seen better days honestly like the seat covers that were on it were uglier than the actual seats so the only two vehicles we're missing from this video are the Mustang and the four-wheeler. So the Mustang I picked up for 3,500 bucks and that actually was my daily driver up until I got the Corolla. Um, that isn't here right now. And the four-wheeler, we actually got that in a trade. So we traded the uh, 7.3 for the four-wheeler, which was a pretty good deal, I would think. Uh, the four-wheeler is definitely old, but um, I mean the 7.3, it wouldn't move. The transmission was completely shot and we just straight traded evenly for it. But um, yeah guys, so I think in total for the channel right now, we got Civic, Buggy, Expedition, Corolla, BMW, ATV, and the Mustang. Seven cars, not including the trailer. Not really, it's not, the trailer's not really a car, it's, just, it's like the recovery vehicle. Um, yeah, we have seven freaking cars on this channel. So but yeah, this is a different kind of video. It's kind of nice to show you guys kind of what's going on and uh, what's up with all the different cars we have. So if y'all enjoyed this, let me know. With that said, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, we really, really need to get this thing running because I want to go rip it again. It's so fun. It's so much fun. We might kill it again, but.